Hello guys! Finally, my uh, diesel heater from China has arrived. I want to share this uh, unboxing video with you. So uh, let's see if it's complete, like the seller has promised me. Okay. 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 Looks promising so far. One uh, diesel tank. And a brown box. T split. Yes, that should be in the box. It should be two of these uh, heater tubes, but in this box it looks like it's only one. The same with the vent. Exhaust. Uh, air intake, fresh air intake. Bag with screws and a filter. Wiring harness. Manual, big book, which is really promising. One hose for the fuel, diesel oil fuel. One silencer with some clamps and a bracket. And a steel plate for the floor. That, oh, this was heavy. Okay, here we go. Fuel pump, kind of big, quite heavy actually. Feels like a quality item. Uh, here is the good stuff. One blue LCD and one red remote controller. And then the main unit. which also is quite heavy. This is made from uh, aluminium or Chinesium, Chinesium, some call it. Yep. That's it for the box. Let's take a closer look at the box. Okay, then I have tried to arrange it the same way as the drawing on the seller's website. This is from Alibaba. You also get the same from eBay and Amazon. And if we do this part by part, we see the fuel tank. It's drawn up like the big one, but I got the smaller one. And these screws was inside the tank. So this one is for the tank. And then we have the wiring, which is here. Here it should be 11 smaller screws and four the different kind of shape. It's very hard to say by the look of this. Here is on the six, four nuts. I don't know what it's for. Here we have six small clamps. I got 12, four of the bigger one. It's supposed to be three. It's supposed to be four of these and two of those. I got two of those and only one of these. So that is a match, but since I got this one, it should be two of those. And of course it should be two of those, as the drawing says, eh? two of those. Fuel pump holder, yes. And the rest seems to be okay. Exhaust, bracket with the screws. It's a different bracket here because it has two screws in one end and one in the other. Blue remote, 
I also had the red one. Red one is not on this page, but it was on another page. So, uh, all in all, you can take this picture and put it together with this. It should be almost the same, except for the missing parts. Okay, how do you open this uh, new type uh, heaters? Because this is made from, like I told you, aluminium. Chinesium, someone call it. It doesn't have the plastic cap. It is a aluminium piece. And you have to unscrew it, like with the plastic cap. And you can see it's a real nice shiny piece of aluminium. Looks like it's uh, it's uh, done from one piece, carved out CNC machine or something. Done. It's just to open the lid, and here we have the machine, which everything seems to be nice. Here is a, it's a kind of a slit which locks it into this. Yeah, I love watching the what's inside. <laughs> And here we go. Okay, one red uh, rubber piece, which also is one rubber piece over here. Oh, this is not good. I guess well, this should be over here. Yeah, maybe some kind of silencing stuff. It's the only two pieces I can find. But you can see this one is not good anymore. That's it. Wiring, fan. Yeah, fuel intake. Yeah. Here's the data on my model. It says uh, XMZ1. Yes, and it has some warning on top of it. Let's see if I can turn this around. It's in Chinese and English, so uh, you must pause the film to take a closer look. I have now made a quick uh, test setup here. As you can see, I have connected the plus and the minus, the oil pump, the heater, and the remote, which seems to work. Now it is just a matter of testing the little red remote. That needs some batteries. Let's see if we manage to open this. Two AAA. Which I keep on handy here. Let's see if we can make the remote controller work. It says press down on this one. And then these two. Press and hold go. Ah! <laughs> it magically switched to English. Fantastic! Manual. Every time I press OK, it switches. You see here, case temp, voltage 13.5. A little optimistic, but OK. Ambient temperature 24. 3.1 Hz. And then around again. The voltage it says 13.5, but on the on my instrument it says 13.2. Yeah, that's the short. 
test of the remote. Let's see how the range is. The range is supposed to be really bad on the remote. No, I'm indoor. So if we are walking up the stairs, to the second floor, I think we should be about 10 meters away. Let's see how it, if it works with this. Maybe if the camera can focus. Here we go. Press standby. Yes. It did connect nicely. Okay, that's uh, all for now. I will set this up later and I will put it in my Vanagon and we will um, test the heater and see how it's working. I'm really looking forward to it. See you again later. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.